Over the last five years, I've designed hundreds of brands for an array of different businesses. And one thing I've noticed is the different approach required when it comes to working with service-based businesses. To uncover exactly what that approach entails, meet Sure, a cloud storage and project management software. In this video, we'll be turning this business into a brand. First, competitor analysis. Now, what are the industry big dogs doing when it comes to branding? To answer this question, I'm analyzing the industry and compiling all of my research with this insight into what the current market is doing. I can now start to think of ways to visually distinguish Sure from its competitors. This means it's time to create a mood board to showcase the style and direction that we wanna go in for this brand. So I've come up with two approaches for this brand. One which is more of the typical tech feel and the other which is a wild card that deviates from the norm by using softer tones to give a calming aura. Now which direction should I choose? Should I play it safe and go for the norm or should I try my luck at something different? Well, fortune favors the brave, so let's go for the wild card. It is now time to design, but every artist knows how daunting a blank canvas can be. But this is why we did all of that research first. Throughout this whole design process, I will be constantly referring back to the project board, which will help inform my design decisions. So here's what I decided on for the font. I wanted to use a sans serif as they tend to convey a modern vibe and are legible on screens. And after researching through some fonts, I decided on the typeface Stotzel as it has the perfect balance of weight and consistency that I'm looking for. Now I need to customize this and turn it from a type face into a unique logo type. So if we refer back to our project board, we noted that we visually want to convey waves of innovation. So there's a three ways that I'm thinking to show them. So let's try it out. So the first way I want to do this is by including a wave symbol, which fits in with the name of the brand, mimicking a body of water and waves of innovation. So I'm just removing the stem of the R and then the arm of the E, so then I can add a new line with the pencil tool, which is gonna flow nicely up into that middle of the E. Now this subtle customization isn't too gimmicky. It doesn't have loads of waves in there to show the waves of innovation. It's just a nice movement that kind of acts as that wave. So now that I've done the R, I'm thinking, I wanna try and add like an infinity sign or double helix to reinforce that the company continuously explores new methods, algorithms, and technology to improve. So looking at all of these letters, the most obvious one to me that looks like these symbols is gonna be the S. So I think this is gonna work really well. I'm gonna first try and adjust the beak and I'm just gonna use a direct selection tool to move this down. We'll curve this round slightly to get um, the kind of icon of that infinity sign or the double helix. We'll move this closer to the body to symbolize the brand's message of innovation being in their DNA. I'm gonna do exactly the same to the tail of the S as well. The logo type is done, and now it's time to move on to designing the logo mark. When it comes to service-based businesses, I think this logo variation has extra added importance. Just look at Shure's competitors. They all have a symbol that's distinct and easily recognizable. Time to earn our money. My name is Jeff. So before designing, I'm again gonna reference the project board and pick up on anything that can help inform my design decisions for the logo variation. So here, Shaw mentioned how the connectivity between the platform and user is critical, as well as the emphasis on creating trust. So to convey this message, I'm thinking about using a ball of yarn, and here's why. Organization created by winding threads together, which is a great metaphor for storage and project management. Unity, with interwoven threads symbolizing interconnectedness. Creativity, knitting is often associated with creativity. Differentiation, the yarn ball is unique and memorable, helping it stand out. So with this concept, I'm gonna take the letter S, 
from the business name and then use this to hopefully create a ball of yarn to reinforce consistency in the brand identity. So the goal is to take two S letters, I'm gonna rotate them around one another um, and hopefully make it look like a ball of connectivity whilst also looking like a ball of yarn. So I'm gonna create some rough ideas first and then hopefully get the layout right. Now that I've got the layout right, it is a time to refine this and make sure all of the proportions are correct. I'm gonna be doing this by using the outer path and the shape builder tool. So now we've got the logo mark done, let's add this by copying and pasting it onto the original logo type and actually create another variation. So this symbol can be used on its own or with the logo type, giving it versatility. Next, I wanna create some illustrations and icons. Now a trend that I've seen and noticed amongst competitors is the use of flat icons. Now while this is big in the tech industry to give it a clean and trustworthy look, I wanna add my own spin onto Shure's icons in the hopes of injecting some personality into the brand. So for this, I am designing some personalized icons that can be used across the brand's website and on their platform. So I'm thinking of including maybe some items like a pencil, a notepad, possibly a dashboard that kind of looks similar to what yours would be, and then something to do with security like a lock and a key. Um, this is gonna help demonstrate what the company does by also helping the users recognize what's within the dashboard. So I am actually starting with a notepad for our first icon, and this is gonna symbolize daily tasks and projects to complete within the dashboard. And I'm just using the pencil tool to draw the basic lines, and instead of it being like a flat icon that just has very straight lines. I like that it's more personalized um, and a little bit messy. I also kind of like the idea of including possibly some clouds around um, our nice little notepad to represent Sure being an online software and files being saved within the cloud. So the first illustration is now done and I think this is going to differentiate Sure from its competitors because these illustrations just are full of personality, they're unique to the business and they're very custom. So now we're going to move on to creating some more in exactly the same style. So here are our finalized icons and these are gonna look so great within the dashboard and within their website. I think they just ooze personality, they're fun, they're friendly, and they match exactly what the brand sure is about. So now that the design stage has been complete, I need to decide on a color palette. So I'm now referring back to my mood board where I already started to test out some of the different color tones, shades, and contrasts. After 30 minutes of experimentation, I have decided on this color palette as I think it helps create a sense of calm, it conveys professionalism, promotes focus, it's soft, it's relaxing, and it also supports the brand's values of enhancing usability. Now, all that's left is to sell the brand to the client, arguably the most important stage. So here's my plan to get them head over heels for this brand. First, create an array of mock-ups showcasing the branding in situations it will be used. Next, put together a 24-page document outlining the whole brand and explaining every single design decision from the font choice to the color palette. Then upload the brand presentation into the client portal and notify the client. Lastly, sit back, relax, and wait for the project payment to hit my bank account. And if you're wondering exactly how to present a brand to a client so they fall in love with it, then you need to watch this video here. Yeah, this one. There's also a template available as well. So I'll see you over there.